Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will understand more about the different interaction uh, of mo between molecules. And right here, what we are seeing is the boiling point of HCl, hydrogen chloride, and oxygen gas, O2. Now, if you look at the numbers, then these two numbers right here, okay, now they're both negative, they're both very low temperature. But I want you to put focus on the difference between these two boiling points. Now for hydrogen chloride, the boiling point is 85.05 degrees Celsius, whereas the oxygen it has a much lower boiling point of negative 183 degrees Celsius. So what does that mean? Okay, when we look at these two numbers, what kind of inform what kind of information can we extract from here, from the between these two numbers? What we can tell here is that it takes a lot more energy in order to boil HCl, hydrogen chloride, okay? And, and in other words, it takes a lot more energy in order to overcome the attraction between each other in liquid state in order to turn hydrogen chloride into gaseous state, okay? So now, the question that we would like to ask is, why? Why, why HCl, why hydrogen chloride needs a lot more energy than oxygen gas? So, if you have been uh, watching the previous two videos, okay, tutorials, then you have a, a better understanding on attractions uh, between molecules. And here, we would like to look deeper, okay? Is there a difference between the attraction, okay, between molecules? Well, there is, okay? So, last tutorial, when we talk about oxygen gas, we talk about the oxygen gas being nonpolar, and they're attracted to each other by this kind of instantaneous attraction, which is called the London dispersion force. And this kind of attraction for, attractional force is very, very weak. It is the only force that's predominantly available in nonpolar molecules. Now, be very clear that this force is also available in polar molecules. However, the strength is significantly different, much weaker for this one when we compare to the attractions that we will see in polar molecules. Now, let's take a look on these diagrams right here, which is, uh, let me uh, put the dot right there, okay, to show you the uh, correct Lewis dot structure. Okay, so, now, what we need to know is the, uh, what we need to understand right here is how the electronegativity affects the bond, the covalent bond in between hydrogen and chlorine. Okay, so what we understand between the, uh, what we should know about the electronegativity, okay, between hydrogen and chlorine is that chlorine has a much higher electronegativity, okay, because it's closer to fluorine and the other reason is it has more protons and it has less shielding, okay? Uh, so, well, in this case, if I compare hydrogen and chlorine, it will be based on the, uh, uh, the number of protons, okay? So, what would happen? What would happen here is that the electrons right here, well, they're sharing electrons. However, they are not sharing the electrons equally. Chlorine being more electronegative, it has a stronger hold of the electrons. So the electrons right here, if I have to uh, show you visually where the electrons are, it will be somewhere close to here. This, so let, let this dot be the electron from chlorine, and I'm gonna use cross to represent the electron from hydrogen, okay? So it's pretty close to the uh, chlorine atom, okay? So now, let me use the uh, black line to represent the covalent bond, but in your mind, I want you to keep in mind that the electrons are not equally shared and the pair of electrons, shared electrons, are leaning toward chlorine atom. Now, why is it important to understand this? Because when the electrons from the hydrogen is leaning toward the chlorine, it makes the chlorine slightly more negative. Because now it has a strong, it has a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of electron. Okay, making this end of the molecule a little bit negative. So now this symbol here, okay, it's called delta. It means partially, okay, or slightly. So this end of the molecule is slightly partially negative. And as the electron leans toward the chlorine, the hydrogen becomes partially or slightly positive. Okay, now we
we can draw an arrow if you uh, remember if you learn from uh, from from earlier uh, materials that we can draw the arrow like this to show the dipole okay we can do that and let's do that for these molecules as well okay I'm going to label slightly negative right here slightly positive okay so now what we are having here is the polar okay the polar molecule and we have two poles the positive pole and the negative pole and these poles are going to attract each other when they are close to each other okay so I'm going to use a green marker to show that well the negative end of the molecule, which is the chlorine end of the molecule, it's going to attract with the positive end of the hydrogen chloride, which is the hydrogen end right here. And then the chlorine right here will also attract with the hydrogen right here. So that you can see this kind of mutual attraction between the molecules. Okay, And this is the reason why we have a much higher boiling point for hydrogen chloride compared to O2, okay? Now, let me uh, show you, okay? Let me write down what the name of this attraction. Now, over here, for nonpolar molecules, we have London dispersion force. Now, this kind of uh, attraction, which is which features polar molecules, which has polars, like the poles, okay, between within the molecule. So, we call this attraction dipole and dipole okay interaction okay so why do we repeat the same word twice okay so dipole di means two and we have two poles and two poles attracting each other so this is what we see for polar molecules okay now there's one more attraction one more intermolecular force okay that we will discuss in the next tutorial which is called the hydrogen bonding now it is similar very similar to polar molecules very similar to dipole dipole the difference is that the strength of hydrogen bonding is a lot greater why is it a lot greater Let's click to the next tutorial and we will find more about we will find out more about hydrogen bonding.